this whole thing started as a joke. I did like this book called Your Baby's First Word Would Be Dada, just to try to make uh, any kid say Dada first, because that's all dads care about. Uh, and then uh, what happened was people started reading the book back. I started getting videos from parents of, of the babies reading it back to their parents, and teachers were sending me things saying, you're teaching kids like how to read and like building their confidence. I'm like, what? This is, <laughs> of course, that was my plan the whole time. Uh, and so then uh, we did Mama, and then uh, we, we figured Baby would be the first uh, the perfect thing to finish out the, the three books and uh, yeah we came out number one we were jumping up and down freaking out it's like the craziest thing it's so fun what happened was dada did well mama was doing well and uh, people just wanted more they're like they're like my kids want to read more like can you do one with more words <laughs> because the other was just moo quack dada you know uh, so I added uh, this one has ten words total so this is a lot a big stretch for me uh, no it has more than that but it's a it's a good rhyming book and it's a big uh, it's like parts of the body of the book. So it's like, these are your eyes, this is your nose, these are your fingers, these are your toes. And so it rhymes. And uh, I know as a, as a very tired dad uh, and reading all these books that rhyming books are good. Yeah. Uh, it gets kids to remember kind of what's the next line going to be. And so they kind of learn how to read through that. And so um, also, as being a tired dad, I'll let you know this book can be read in 40 seconds. I mean, you can zip through this. It counts as a book. So, I mean, <laughs> if you are, you'll, when, you're, when you're reading to your kids for them to go to sleep, yeah, it, it's important to have a fast book because some of these books are so long. And if you, you can fake skip a page and every kid will catch you. They're like, hey, do you skip the page? And you go, oh, please stop. <laughs> Just go to sleep, please. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Please pass out. Please pass out. Um, do your girls, Winnie and Francis, know that this is written by you? And have you read it to them yet? They kind of do, uh, yeah. I've read it to them. I left it on the kitchen table just one morning just to see if they would like it or look at it or play with it, and they loved it. And they were kind of reading it. And uh, I have a six-year-old now. She's learning how to read, so she's figuring it all out. And the the four and a half-year-old will help her. I was like, toes. That's that's your nose. That's you know. And like so, it's just jumping in. And uh, so yeah, and they kind of know that it's me now. The four and a half-year-old she wants to write a book. She's like, really, Dad? Is it that easy? Is that easy to get to number one? <laughs> please, I can write a book too. Then, if that's if you're an author, please. She's like, I'm gonna be the next. Uh, yeah, she yeah. wants to be the next uh, Dr. Seuss or the next Mo Willems or whatever. You are a dad of two girls. Yes. This is dad's do's or don'ts. Okay, yep. so you're gonna tell us is this a dad do or a dad don't? Okay, gotcha. Okay, styling your daughter's hair. <laughs> that's a do. I've done it before. How did it it's go? not. It didn't end well. But <laughs> she had a very creative new style that no other kid had. Okay. Your kid is throwing a tantrum because she wants ice cream for breakfast. Do you just give it to her? Is mom there? No. Yes, you give her the ice cream. Okay. Okay. So we've had this occur in the Fallon house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, you're going to Disney World. Do you put your kid on a leash? No. <laughs> no one should ever put their kid on a leash. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Teach them to stand next to you and hold their hand. That is a leash, basically. Okay. Their arms are a leash. Okay. <laughs> Tie your kid to a rope. <laughs> Coordinating family Halloween costume. Absolutely not for me. No, okay. no, no. But you can do it. I love it. People love it. It's good for Instagram. Good. Instagram needs more money. I love it. And if you, as a father, mixed up pajama day and picture day at school, do you tell your wife that the, you put the kids? No, you wait for the picture to be developed. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, you go, oh, that's what she picked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it looked cute either way. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Then right. you run out of the house. Yeah. I love it. Okay, so you're in your seventh season hosting The Tonight Show. Gosh, this happens like that. What can we expect coming up? We're entering sweeps. Yep. Any big uh, stunts for us? I mean, yes. we're always doing, uh, we're always working on what the next big thing could be. Uh, we're going to take the show on the road to University of Texas mm -hmm. at Austin, which is going to be real fun. Toga, Toga, no, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be great. They're, they're pumped already, but uh, we always, you know, you got to keep changing and doing different things. The fun thing about our show is that uh, people come on, they want to play games, they want to do sketches and do things that are outside the box. Uh, we just did a great piece with Brad Pitt and uh, where we're sending things back and forth to each other at the bar. We did a sketch with Tiger Woods where you think that he would never do a sketch, but he was great and it was funny. So we have some, a couple of fun things planned uh, involving some good musicians. It's going to be some cool stuff, so stay tuned. I heard your dream guest right now is the Queen of England. Yeah, I'm trying to get the Queen on the show. 
Uh, so if yeah, if she's watching or I'm thinking a lip sync battle, maybe. I mean, what would for the queen, I could do lip sync battle with whatever she wants. I know she she likes music. Uh, I could play beer pong with her. I can do whatever the queen wants to do. I'm down. Maybe tea. Maybe tea pong. Yes. <laughs> tea pong is actually good. I would totally play that with the queen.